What is going on, guys? We are back with ulti playoffs round two winners bracket between Alexander and Extra Shine. Alexander brings this ABR balance team with Mega Sableye, Bandit Weevil, uh, Fist Dev, Lando. This is Hazard stacking with uh, Spikes, Ferro, Rocks, Lando. Spit Dev, Pack, Spit Dev, no, Fist Dev, Sila, I think, and Spit Dev, Ferro, and Spit Dev, Sableye, Bandit Weevil. And on the other side, we see a cool Mega Heracross offense with probably Z Move, Coco, Scarf, Katana, and potentially uh, Life of Curum. And obviously rocks Lando. We will, we will see if the um, Toxapex is Black Sludge. Um, I assume that most Toxapex... They should still be running Shed Shell because uh, Arena Trap was not banned when this match happened. This match happened last Sunday. Um, Arena rating over this. But it, it's basically live as you guys can see. I have to smoke this chat. It's not a replay. And yeah, Alex is obviously gonna leave with the Sabre because he doesn't want Hazard going up on his side, so he has to Mega this. He's just gonna go for Willow SP and Extra Shine is gonna spam a Scald and Fish for a burn. And yeah, Kyurm is gonna be a huge threat, so is Heracross. Kyurm, Electric Terrain, Fusion Bolt destroys everything, and if he also has HP Fire on the Kyurm, he can blow away the Ferrothorn. And then he kind of just, yeah, it's just a really huge map. If he has a uh, life up HP fire, this matchup is fire for extra with the Kyurm. So he, Alex misses a Wisp at first, which kind of sucks. He's probably going to go for recover here, so this gives extra another chance to fish for the burn. As he does get it. And now we see it's a black slash pack, so Alex can go for a knockoff here. If extra is a Z-move mon, he can switch into that, or he can switch into his Hera here, expecting a knockoff. But Hera is too risky on a potential will wisp But if uh, Extra Shine's Coco is a special attacker, attacker, he can easily switch that into a will wisp And threaten this out with a Death and Gleam. And if he does go into Coco and we do see the Z move. So if I was Alexi, I would just go into Ferrothorn, obviously. Uh, it can wall most variants of Coco that are not HP fire, but for some reason he decides to stay in. Let his Sableye get weakened and he doesn't even go for recover. If he stays in, he should have at least gone for recover. And now his Sableye is low and Extra can potentially get up rocks with this Lando. Um, yeah, so... Extra can just... Expect the Ferrothorn to come out here. So if he has Volt Switch, he can go for that. I assume it would kill the Sableye from this range. I don't think Alex wants to sack this. Um, he's gonna try to double the save line later on, on the opposing toxic packs and try to go for recover. As he doubles into Kyurem, which is a really good play. Let me explain to you guys why. Um, the Kyurem that covers the Landorus and the Ferrothorn if he has HP fire. And Alex doesn't know if he has HP fire, he should definitely scout for it, I feel like. I know this can live HP fire from full, but um, this cannot even do much back to the Kyurem, because I think this is Lead Sheet knockoff Power Whip and Spikes for Um I'm not sure, I think I think Extra will just go for HP fire if he has it, as he does get an unfortunate crit. But like I said, the Pharaoh didn't have too, too much to do back to the Kyurem. And it was pretty... Like, that was just a god play doubling the Kyurem. But it was kind of obvious that he had HP fire. Because that way it really covered the Lando and the Pharaoh. If he didn't have HP fire, it would have only covered the Lando play. And then he should have just... Um, then he should have doubled into something else probably. But he had the perfect double switch. So he goes into Bandit we while he had a Tox Specs. is really obvious and a knockoff. So we will see if Alex predicts that and goes for Pursuit. Um, because this Curum is such a big problem for Alexander. So Extra is definitely not staying in. So I think I would just... Go for Pursuit. The problem with Pursuit is here, it would let the Heracross in, and he also doesn't have good switch ins to that. So, if he's worried about the Heracross coming in, he could also go for Isaac Crash and um, potentially do a lot to that. As he does go in the Heracross, there's the Isaac Crash miss, as Alec predicted the Heracross to come out. That sucks. And Alex stays in and tries to. He's willing to sack his Weaver, but extra over predicts, goes for knockoff, expecting the Toxapex or Landris to come out, I assume. So Alex gets to 2 kill the Hera, so at least Alex gets rid of one big threat to his team, but there's still a Coco, the Coco is a big threat after the Pharaoh died, and he's just free to click Dazzling Gleam here. He doesn't want to go for the electric move because he doesn't want to give the Lando a free switch in. As he just sacks off the Sableye, 
And at this point, Kieran plus Coco just kind of destroys Alex. He goes on the Landorus. Um, I think that the Sea Twinkle tackle and it does around 70%, so it doesn't kill from here, so he's gonna switch out. Alex can go for rocks here as he does just go for off quick. I understand the play because Coco is a threat to him, but it was also kind of obvious that Extra was gonna save it. So Alex can either go for rocks or HP ice here. Um, Extra could go into Curum here as that covers the rock play and also it covers the HPI's play. And he does get the Curum and the HPI's. And I think he's he, Extra is an aggressive player. He's just gonna click Fusion Bolt here. Alex goes for Protect, raise the turn of Electric Terrain. But Extra is really aggressive. Like he might just click Fusion Bolt again. He knows that Alex cannot really afford to sack this. This is like Alex's main way of killing the Toxapacks. So like he kind of has to keep the Lando. And also um, this Lando can get up rocks later. So like there's no reason for Alex to sack it. So he's probably gonna get a Pex here or Steeler. Expecting the Ice Beam. He could also go Weevil expecting the Ice Beam. But he goes Salah Steeler. Fusion Bolt completely blows that away. Extra makes the aggressive play again. And this should be Ice Beam range. So he can just Ice Beam here. We shall see if Alex... Um, tries to pivot into Weevil on the Ice Beam, but I'm pretty sure since Weevil lost its band, it might not even be able to kill the Kyurem from there. From the range it's at. And at this point... Oh, he goes on the packs. I mean, that's fine. Um, extra takes some life up, but he can just go for Fusion Bolt here. If Alex doesn't... This packs is spam death, so Fusion Bolt will do more, and like Alex is not going to be able to recover spam. Especially since this doesn't have... Black Slash, you guys can see that does so much. So he goes for Skull, and if he doesn't get the burn here, he just gets fucked up by his Kyurem, he doesn't get the burn. So he can just go for Ice Beam here, this is in range from Ice Beam. And yeah, there goes the Toxapax. Now he can go Weewell here. And I guess Extra can second the Kyurem at this point. Um, Coco kind of just wins if he gets some prior damage on Lando at this point, yeah. And also Cartana is looking scary if he weakens the Landers a bit. Because the Celestia took a fusion bolt, so it's already low. So he's just um okay, he still wants to keep the Kyurem. I mean it still it still kills gets a kill when it comes in on Lando, so why not keep it? Um I mean especially Like at What am I what I'm trying to say is uh, if, Q Q if Q comes in Orlando, it kind of gets a kill, like not 100% because he still has the Weevil. But even at the range it's at Weevil, like to be honest, it doesn't even matter anymore. Like he just wins, he just clicks Dazzling Gleam here. Even if he lost his Kyurem, uh, he won this game anyway, so he can just click on an electric move here. We will see if Alexander pivots into into um, into Coco, uh, into Landorus is what I meant to say. But uh, Extra has no reason not to click the electric move here, because even if he goes in the landers, that's completely fine. Like, Extra has more sacks, Extra has everything, and like he just wins. He can go for the if he is as he fairy move, he can go for that here, do a clean damage to the Lando, and Scarf Katana should win from here. As so yeah, he goes for the Trinkle Tackle, that's 71%. He goes to Kyurem here, can click Ice Beam. Or HP Fire even throws, tries to catch the Weevil there, or he just puts this in range from Leaf Blade. So, uh, Scarf Katana comes out now and wins. And it was a really cool game. I'm, really I'm looking forward to game 2. So they're already dropping the, the GG's. Yeah, extra at the breaker, so this game didn't take too long. If, if extra bought like a more balanced team, this game would have taken forever, but like he's known to bring like off and stuff. So I'm gonna pause real quick and be right back with uh, game two. We're back with game two, and this time Alex is packing some offense. Belinda has used this team in one of his videos. I think that's the team that Ampo used on Ulti Ladder, but I don't really remember. Extra bringing some offense again. I assume it's Scarf Lily on Extra's team, could also be Scarf Grin. And yeah, on Alex's team I think it's double suicide lead if he didn't change the team. Then it's SD Scissor with knockoff and bullet punch roost. Offensive scissor. Uh DD Zygarde if I recall correctly. 
and I don't remember if it's live or, or um, Z move on Mimic Q, but the Majorna is just a uh, common shift key and bolt beam with leftovers. That's what I remember. Don't let us use this in like two videos, I think. Yeah. So Alex is gonna get up a spike because there's no point in getting up a T spike. There's a toxic pack. On the other side. I mean, you could still get up a T-Spike and try to poison something else, but yeah, spikes are definitely more important. Uh, Extra doesn't have any hazard control. But I can also see Alex attacking here and trying to break a potential Sash from Extra's Grand. I'm kind of thinking that this is a Z-Move Greninja. Okay, so Alex just gets some damage on the opposing Greninja and extra kills Alex's Grim with a gunk shot. So he only gets up one spike. He can go into his Excadrill here or into his. Hmm. You can go to Magenta as well. Yeah, Magenta is fine here. Magenta can potentially win late game. So maybe it's not the best play. Like he has a lot of options, he can also go to Mimikyu. <laughs> but it is a fast scissor with SD knockoff, so if the Magnezone gets weakened a bit, the scissor can beat the Magnezone. Um, like a 2 plus 2 knockoff, I assume there's like 60 or something to Magnezone, maybe a bit more even. Maybe 70 ish here. Yeah. He just needs uh, pride damage. So he goes into Mimikyu. Um, so he probably is life up and can kill this with a shadow sneak. I assume that's why he went into this, because I th I think he doesn't want to lose his disguise. So that that makes the most sense to me. You know, he just goes for SD. Okay, so he was willing to lose his disguise, and now he's just gonna go for shadow claw to weaken the landers. So we see it's a bulky landers with rocky helmet. He's gonna go for U turn or EQ. Yeah, he goes for U turn and breaks the disguise, and he can go into his um, scarf lily here if he's dead, or he can go into his. Dianthi and stay in maybe an, if Dianthi lifts the hit in regular form, he can go to that. Um, other options would be going to Toxapex. But yeah, going into um, Lily basically confirms that it's Joy Scarf. And he's gonna go for Psychic here. Like, uh, maybe I'm wrong here, but if I recall correctly, Mikyu is f faster than Lily, right? So this Lily should be Scarf to ensure that it's faster. I just haven't used Mikyu in. In a while, so I don't remember if it's. Uh, I think it's a little bit faster than Lily, naturally. But yeah, you obviously can't shadow sneak because of the psychic terrain, and there's the psychic picks of the Mimikyu. Um, so Alex can go into his steel types here. Uh, either the Excadrill to get up rocks or the Majorna to try and set up. But probably he's gonna go for rocks first to get more chip for his Majorna or Scissor or uh, Zyga to win the game. Uh, actually, Zyga is looking really scary since the Lando's helmet and not lefties. And already took some prior damage. And other than the Lando, he doesn't have a good thousand arrows switch in. Yeah, Zyra's gonna be putting in work. If it gets up a D later, it kinda just wins. So Alex has good chances to make it 1 1 and bring the series to game 3. So Extra is either gonna predict Alex to go for rocks and go for psychic, which is what he decides to do. His other option would have been going Lando, predicting like Iron Hat or, yeah. So he does 2 KO. Now he goes in the scissor and you can potentially go for SD here. Um or you can just go for knockoff. I mean he's not gonna be He's not gonna be beating the Magnezone one we one with the scissor at this point since the Magnezone is still too healthy. But basically what Alex has to do is he just has to get the, the Zygarde in later on the on the Toxapex. I don't remember if he has sub on the Zygarde, but if he has sub, it's gonna be deadly for extra. So he knockoffs tries and almost kills the Magnezone. I don't know if he's gonna go into... He can go Zygarde here, or he can also go Magirna. Hmm. No, he, he just, what am I saying? For, like for some reason I thought that uh, the scissor goes down, but yeah, the scissor's faster. I need, I mean, I noticed I need the scissor faster, but was able to deliver HP fire with the um, the death boost that it gets from Mega Evolving. 
Yeah, I got I, I got I made a nice arrow there real quick. I messed up a bit. It's fine. It happens. So now extra is gonna go into his uh, top of Lele slash Toxapex. So he goes into top of Lele and he's just gonna click some psychic. He goes for Moonblast. Okay, yeah, actually that makes sense. Yeah, he doesn't want the he doesn't want the the to uh, Zyga to set up. But yeah, really interesting. Um. Yeah, so he goes for Shifki here, right? And he's just gonna be spamming T-Bolt. I don't think there's a point in Alex in going for Calm Mind. Extra Shine might just go for Haze. He should just take his um he should just try to kill this Toxapex even if Extra goes for recover. Like I th like he can go for common break and recover, but even if Extra goes for recover, you can fish for crits with T Bolt, you can potentially get a para. So like Alex doesn't lose much from by spamming T Bolt. Even if Extra pivots into Lando, the Lando's obviously slow at the moment, so like there's no point in predicting that. Yeah, obviously, is, um, the Majora doesn't just win. Um, if he locked into, like, that's always that's why extra locked into Moonblast. That made more sense than locking into anything else. Well, yeah, like if two turns ago, uh, like uh, when he brought in the the Lily, basically to revenge the scissor. <laughs> but yeah, he did go for haze on a calm mind. He should just kill this toxic place, like. I don't know why he's shift gearing like Extra is not gonna allow that to happen. You should just take his chance to kill this before the Toxapex goes for Skull and burns him. But He can also try to Zygat he can go to he can try to go to Zygat on the recover here or on a haze. That would be a good play. Look cause you know that Extra hasn't been going for Skull, he has been going for Haze or for recover, right? I don't really like the ice beam play there. You, the Lando, like, it's, it's defensive. Like, why are you trying to catch the Lando? Or was he... I really don't know what the ice beam play was about. So now he's gonna T-Bolt again. I mean, if you stay in with your Majorna, you should just spam T-Bolt. Because he's not gonna let you get up a shift gear boost. As you can see, he's just spamming Haze a lot. So he hates again here. So like, extra might eventually try to go for scald because if he keeps going for haste the entire time, then Alex might think, oh, let me go into my zygot real quick on a haste. And if he catches him with a scald and gets a burn, it would be fire for extra. <laughs> so he ice beams again there. I'm not sure why. I mean, I understand why he wants to keep this toxic around because it's like set up for for Zygar. Yeah, maybe that kind of makes sense actually. Maybe he's just trying to like use up all his PP with Majuna and get in the the Zygat after. He might also try to get the Zygat in the haze. Yeah, I under actually understand this. Yeah, he should he should just try to set up like a shift key or like a calm mind, and then go into Zygat on the turn that extra goes for haze. That makes sense to me. Mm -hmm. But he doesn't do that. He just go hard Zygat. There's the haze again. So we shall see if he has a sub on this. I really don't remember this team. Like I don't remember every set. I remember the most sets, but not the Zyger one. There's the Lando, there's the Intimidate. Yeah, that's sub, okay. And it's a Z move. Okay, so he's gonna drag this up. And Power Ice breaks the sub, obviously. And he can go for like. He's not gonna wanna lock into Outrage because then he just gets wrenched by a fairy. So he's either gonna go for a thousand arrows twice. Actually, he can. I think he can DD again. 
because he loves HPIs and he can just go. Yeah, he can DD into thousand arrows if that kills. If it doesn't kill, he might have to, he might have to use up his uh, Z move if it's devastating Drake or whatever. I think he's gonna Z move uh, DD again. Not Z move <laughs> DD. Yeah. I mean, if he, yeah, exactly, like, this kills everything the Zygarde, right? I don't know why he off quick there. I mean, the HPS wouldn't have killed anyway, so it doesn't make a huge difference. So, yeah, this kills, yep. And since he has two DDs, he has beat everything. I don't think this, this Gren shouldn't have shooting. And yet, yeah, Tiara should just win the game for Alex. So we're gonna see a game three, that's nice. Yeah, I think the theme of one is the average, but I really don't remember. So game three, I don't know what Alex will bring. Maybe his team that he used versus Ray and on the ladder, the one with the Hydreigon and Mimikyu. I really don't remember game three. I think the the games were like it's uh, it's, it's Wednesday when I'm recording this, and the games happened Sunday evening. <laughs> so like it's not like I remember everything. I mean, Extra is thinking here, but he doesn't have a play. He just loses. Is he is he calking if anything can live? Like, if you stay in regular form, it doesn't matter, like, you die to this anyway. So he's just gonna thousand arrows and kill this. There's the Z move. Just to make sure that the Yanzi dies. Okay, Z tectonic rage, so Z. The Z ground moves, Z thousand arrows. It's not Z outrage, okay. I mean, that was not needed, but yeah. So he goes, um. Oh, it's off quick, it's not. He has Earthquake and Thousand Arrows. That's so cool. Damn. Wait, he should Earthquake, Thousand Arrows and Dragon Lens. So his, his last move could still be Outrage, we don't know that. So Alex said GG, give me 5 minutes. So this might take a while till the next game starts. I might have to pause it. Because I remember I just let um, the recording... The recording go last <laughs> last Sunday when I recorded this. Both EQ and Thousand Arrows. I mean, the Tectonic Rage is way stronger with Earthquake. Probably has a good reason why he runs that. Probably killed something that it wouldn't kill with uh, the T Arrows. Yeah, yeah it's Focal Fable. The Earthquake. Yeah, let me pause real quick and we'll be right back with game three. Here we go with game three. Alex brought this. This is actually like some. Is this an RMT? This team was used a lot on the ladder. Alex we're back with some more offense. Um, it's gonna be Electric Seed, uh, Halucha with the Coco. And Halucha is actually looking scary this game. Especially if Mimikyu loses its disguise. I think this is a, is this a Scarf Hooper? I don't remember this team, but this team was used on ladder a lot like two months or three months ago, something like that. But yeah, if the Hooper isn't Scarf, then the um, then the Lando should be Scarfed on Alex's team. And I assume it's the move Mimic you are. Zygarde. So many Chim is just gonna go for a safe fake out turn one here. It's gonna do a good chunk to whatever. And yeah. So the pit the pinces switch ins are not really existent. If it's Helmet Lando, yeah you can go to that. But Helmet Lando usually only carries HPIs to touch to hit Pinsir, so like Pinsir kinda eats that up anyway. 
Uh, yeah, Exa is just gonna attack. He has no reason to like go for SD because if Alex stays in for some reason, his Pinsa gets blown away. That fake out actually did a really good chunk, considering that uh, Mega Pinsa has a really good, gets a lot of. I think gets a good boost in defense by Mega Yeah. I mean, I assume he's just gonna see Lando come out to get some helmet damage because otherwise he just doesn't have a good switch into this. Yeah, that still did a good chunk even with the intimidate. So I can see extra going for SD here. Um, actually no, that's not the play. Like if Alex you don't see SD doesn't really gain you much. So yeah, we know that this is a helmet defensive lander, which means yeah, I think I was right that it's Scarf Hooper. But Alex have to be so careful this game. Like I said, um, Halucha looking like a big problem. Lando's already getting chipped now, that also helps Halucha. Uh, even though Halucha kind of sets up on Lando anyways. He just needs some chip on Zygarde and Brad Mimic use Disguise and it's looking like Halucha cleans from there. Because um, Medicham's Faker doesn't do too, too much because Halucha gets a defense boost with the with the Electric Seed if I recall correctly. So it is looking like a tough game for Alex. He does just go for SD. It is understandable. Because he doesn't want to take helmet twice. If he goes for frustration twice, he takes helmet twice. If he NCs, he just takes one round of helmet. But if Alex U turned there, uh, he could have gone to his Scarf Hooper. And I think that should easily live a plus one quick attack. But it's understandable that um, like Alex wanted to get up rocks, even though the main thing that's weak to rocks is already on the field. Like otherwise rocks doesn't do too too much. Hmm. So I don't know if I can read that play. Maybe I would have gone for U turn there. Slow you turn into Scarf Hooper. Like, plus one quick attack, I don't know how much it does to Hooper. I assume there's like 60. Like, Scarf Hooper gets outsped by Halucha anyway, so like, it's not that it's gonna be helping versus that. Mm, this could be Bandit. Yeah, Bandit E speed kills the Pinsir. So now it makes a lot, a bit more sense that he went for rocks first because he had Bennett Eastby to revenge that. Uh, I haven't seen Bennett Zagat in forever, but like I said, this team's like a bit older. I was used in ladder a while ago. Pretty sure there's an RMT in the forums. So now he knows that it's locked into E speed, so X can either go for a spin here, but I think he can just go for Earthquake because um, Alex has no ground resist. He lost his Landorus and Earthquake hits everything. And uh, Ferro's on He's probably gonna go to Ferris on here, and that's gonna still take like 35 from Earthquake. Something something in the 30% range. You know, see what Gypsy, uh, Gingy's saying? Stall is like ordering a margarita pizza, no spice, not just boring. Um, like, I haven't eaten margarita in a while, but margarita doesn't taste that bad. Oh, that does a bit more than I thought. So, the Ferris is like more spadev, maybe? And it's probably Choppleberry because it doesn't have lefties. Uh, Trouble Berries to help versus Alakazam, uh, tap, mainly for Tapu Bulu though, um, to eat superpower as all that pummeling. And what's the other one? Medicham, yeah. So he gets up a spike there, I don't know if I'll... Hmm. I mean, Extra was obviously gonna spin anyways. But yeah, he keeps up one spike. Extra makes a nice play, gets his rocks, now he can just spin again. Yeah, he gets up one spike, but like, eh. He actually... Hmm. He still has the disguise and take, but like... Magenna is gonna put some pressure on Alex as well. Like, Extra just... I feel like Extra just has the win counts on deck and Extra is gonna win this. He's gonna go for Bandit Thousand Arrows here. Uh, I assume Extra is just gonna go for Earthquake to get damage on his Zygarde. I don't think the spike is that big of a deal to him exactly. He just gets damage. And you can go Kogo, or if he has Dazzling Gleam or something to kill Zygarde, or you can go Greninja here. Um, Bennett Zygarde usually runs Adamant, so... I think Magina might outspeed as well. But, um, yeah, I think I, I have to play, I have to play a bit more. I haven't played too much uh, last day, so I don't know all the speed tiers.
Um, Mijerna at this point, if it's faster than Zygot, it also looks kind of scary. But like, Medicham could still um, Medicham could still revenge Mijerna. But if Medicham comes out, that means um, now nah, he can't go hard into Coco if Medicham comes out. He first has to get up the electric seed thing, the terrain. So I assume we're gonna see an Ice Beam slash. If he's Ash, a uh, Hydro Pump coming out. He goes for Ice Beam and he's Protein. So it doesn't do much. Um, so he's Scarf Hooper. But if he locks into Hyperspace, I think Extra goes into Coco after and clicks U turn and then Holucha wins. So he just gets up a spike to get more chip. Yeah, this game should be over in Extra's favor. So it goes Coco, he just clicks U turn here. I'll reflect. Oh, it's the setup screens. Okay, so now Halucha wins even harder with this. Because with the setup screens, or with the screen setup, the Mimikyu can't even revenge the Halucha. Like, the set usually runs taunt, um, reflect, light screen, and U turn. I think Benge used it in OST finals, and some people used it on ladder as well. That, he, nothing is stopping the Halucha at this point. Ref reflect plus a defense boost from the Electric Seed. And Alexander only has physical attackers left, so Halucha is going to be eating up every hit. Yeah, I actually quite enjoyed the series. Uh, I have another series for you guys later. It's gonna be okay, guys. Come Jenna. I mean, it, I don't think it matters, but I thought who I thought that Halucha would have just won the game. Maybe I'm wrong. <laughs> but yeah, you can just go for Ice Beam here. I mean, Alucha still wins later on if Magiona breaks the uh, disguise from MVQ. Um, yeah, the other series that I have for you guys later, let me think, I don't really remember what other series I recorded. I recorded two more Snake games. Um, one was Finch vs. Value and one was... Um, Actually, I recorded three more Snake games, so that's gonna be coming. And I also recorded one more Ulti series, but I don't really remember which game it was. Okay, so I, I wasn't. Damn, so he wasted the crit. Like, uh, see, I told you guys I was wrong with speed tiers. <laughs> like, Majuna got out speed and blown away by a crit. But yeah, Lucha still wins. Like I said, I don't know why he didn't go do this first, but. Now Alex kind of wasted the crit that he needed to, to get on this. He wasted it on the Majorna. Uh, so extra can go for a SD here and then just spam acrobatics. Oh, he doesn't even have to SD, right? I don't think he has to SD, he can just acro. Yeah, exactly. Acro is the better play because um, the screen only lasts one more turn. Reflect unless this old may no, maybe this Coco runs light clay. I have no idea if it does it might it won't, That won't make sense because it's just a double screens Coco So yeah, acrobatics should kill because of the hazards that um, extra got up and a player of does a laughable damage And yeah, Acro should definitely pick this up. Mimikyu doesn't have that good of that defense set isn't that good. The spadev is decent, but the defense is eh. So it's definitely gonna drop. And yeah, extra takes this series two and one. Hope you guys all enjoyed. And I'm gonna be back later with way, way more games. Not sure if they're all gonna be going up today, but definitely like two more games are going up today. And I'm also going to keep an eye on if there's any more live games for round 3 of ulti. This was round 2. Um, I record every game of round 3 live so far. There was um, the ABR vs. Bushtor series and the 
Hie versus uh, Meep series. You guys can check that out uh, on my channel. Or I might link the description. Uh, I might link the playlist at the end of the video. And yeah, hope you guys have a fantastic day. I might also record a shot on live later, but I don't know. It depends how I feel. If, if I'm in the mood for a live. And goodbye. And yeah, link to the music as always is gonna be in the description. If you guys want the song. And peace out.